Well, part two of the day. Got my baby girl with me. Time for white bass and crappie down here below Cave Run at the spillway. Caught a muskie this morning. Make sure to check out that video. I'll leave the link in the description and in the thumbnail. Uh, but make sure before we start, if you've not already done so, to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on all my content coming up. Let's go fishing. Oh yeah, I'd say they're gonna be in here thick. Let's see how it is down here first. I bet you I see a muskie down here with the current like this. All right. So you kind of know what you're doing with the Bobby Garland, right? Okay. Cast right up in there, in that swirl. Let it, you know, sink. Just anywhere. Okay. Let it sink for a little bit, just maybe three, four seconds, and just run it back to you. Okay. I do that to rest my uh, shoulder. Same. They're gonna be out there though. I'm just gonna have to let it sink. Oh yeah, they're in here. Oh, there it is. Yep. <laughs> Crappie number one, baby girl. I'm not getting used to it. Hmm? I'm not used to it. Not used to it? I mean, I could switch it. It'd take two seconds to switch. What do you think, honey? Pretty? You want me to hook you up with a bobber? Uh, it don't matter. I don't. It feels weird doing it on this side, though. Here, hand it here. <laughs> I think I've just gotten so used to it. Yeah. The other way now that. It... You said it more than three times, so I know it's bothering you. Don't forget, see, okay, look, look downstream. Yeah. See all these bubbles right here? See all this current break? Yeah. So if I were to draw a line from this tree straight down the bank, yeah. parallel, yeah. all that's a current break. Okay. So as long as you, here you go, as long as you can stay out of the trees, there's gonna be fish there. You'll do fine. Hey, and if you get hung up in the trees, so what? Well, that's a brand new boat, there's a fish. Ah, there we go. Feel like I got a white on here. Oh yeah, nice white. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, buddy. All right. Ha <laughs> ha Check it out, baby. Set the camera up. Nice white bass. Love this time of year. Look at that stomach on them. Here you go, honey. I'll put them over there near you. This is one of the most effective baits in the world. A white rooster tail. Like, so how do you do it? You just throw it out, you reel it in. Really? The magic happens when it touches the water. This is uh, John Paul's favorite bait, my favorite bait growing up, Paul's favorite bait. A lot of people said if they could have one bait, they'd fish a white rooster tail. Now this is a heavier bait, so you gotta keep it moving. You gotta keep it off the bottom. You can let it sink a couple seconds. Yeah. Just kinda about like this right here. Keep it lower in the water. Those whites are gonna be closer to the bottom. There it is. I got one. What are you stuck on, baby girl? I think I got a white. That's a nice one. Yeah. yeah. Buddy. Did you get it off there? There you go. 
<laughs> you caught it with your face too. That's great. Baby, these are so fat. You want to move over here? All right, baby girl. This is a double rig. Let me throw it a couple times and then I got to take all. Okay. They'll thump it just like a hybrid will, just like a crappie will. There it is. Oh yeah. Man, those whites. It's it's almost all whites now. Yesterday was uh was crappie. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Alright, all you salty googans, look at that. Oh, Kentucky white bass I'm probably gonna fish for looks like another 45 minutes love you so I think I'm gonna use these little Bass Pro Shops speed shad and the cool thing about what I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna leave my trash all over the shore like half the people do that fish down here I put it right back in my bag because it that's where it came from. So we'll put that in there. Hopefully, y'all can see that. Scoot it up over the first notch right there. And boom, you got yourself a white bass bait. All right, we're on bottom. There it is. Boy, that didn't take long at all, folks. And look, on the ultralight rod, which makes it 10 times more rewarding. Mm. Come on up here. Dude's uh, got some interesting uh, patterns on his uh, scales here. Maybe they're like that on all of them. I don't know. I'll show you if I can get them to quit chowing down here. Okay. It's just on the top of his eyebrow right there. He's got two scales that just look weird. Honestly, it's pretty action-packed out here. I've caught, I think, four or five white bass and a crappie. I don't know. You can't complain about the spring white bass bite. It's out of this world when it's on. I mean, this is good, but... I've seen it be really good in certain places. When fishing whites or hybrids, you really want to focus on, unless they're just up in the jumps, you really want to focus on trying to keep your bait close to the bottom. Back like eddies and current breaks. So if you can fish near those, you'll do pretty good. How are the bugs eating me up? It's March. What is this? Okay. So, what I might do... <laughs> no, I'm not switching baits for crappie. Bugs found me though. <laughs> there it is. That's a crappie. I set the hook on them that time. I knew that's what they were too, just the way they were hidden. Yeah, well, didn't get to show them to y'all. Just everything is just coming to life right now. I'm wondering if I could thread the needle and fish right there. So I know it might be boring watching me stand in one spot, but there's not really, if you look around, there's not really anything else I can do here. Um, so I'm kind of limited to what I can do and like the photo quality of what I'm doing or the video quality, but gonna keep trying to just catch some fish for y'all that's the white bass are staged here obviously and what it is there's a little sandbar out there that they're staging on the drop-off side on both sides 
and if they're not on the drop off they're on the humps stay in here and catch fish for y'all i'll tell you what's funny though is so many people go out and spend so much money on baits but all you need is a jig head and a piece of plastic on it come on come on come on there it is i felt more like a white but i don't know if it is it's a small one yeah just right out in the edge of that current break now these are smaller whites but i don't care I don't care check it out look at the wicked like fins on that dude flexing on me intimidated by fish hey man thank you thanks for coming around man I wait on these things every year so if you'll see like most of the water is going that way right here it starts to eddy and there's like a little boil there where everything's pushing up on this sandbar you can almost tell how this looks underwater just by studying how it looks on top of the water so the water comes back this way but right here it starts boiling because there's a sandbar there and all i'm doing is working the bottom of the edge of that sandbar There it is. Well, what are you? Another white. Nope. Oh, nice. That's a nicer crappie. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Nicer crappie. Mm-hmm. What's going on on this side? I've got some sort of markings and stuff on them today. What's going on with that? But... I will start a bucket for these little things. Ooh, about feel. There it is. Yes, sir. Okie dokie. The old uh, swim bait's hanging in there. I'll trade out with whites for bigger crappie. So I'm, I'm more just doing a slow retrieve keeping my rod low and there they go man i'm that is i am on them man holy cow <laughs> another one look at that they're just down there every cast every cast look at that dude every cast now i wonder how many crop here down there Let's see if we can go. Let's see if we can go four for four. These bugs will leave me alone. There it is. There's another one. These crappie are everywhere. <laughs> oh man. I will throw this one back. Now this one's going to catch something. Come on, come on, come on. Oop. There he is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Jeez, oh Pete. I feel like I just heard a No, I thought I heard a bald eagle. There we go. Now that's a white. Ooh. The hardest fighting white I've caught so far. Wow. Uh-uh. 
Oh, what'd you take me under? There he goes. He's, he took me under something. He's on there. I still feel him on there. Come on off of there. Come out of there now. Ah, well that sucks. I don't want to leave that in that fish's mouth, but I'm not entirely certain that it's still on a fish anymore. I think he took me under something and broke me off, or wrapped me up rather. Well, hopefully he uh, gets all that free. About time to time, a new one anyways. What a bummer. But, that's the way it is. So I'm putting another piece of fluoro on here. I'm using 10 pound, if you guys are wondering. 10 pound fluoro. And it's not a liter. I just have a leftover spool of 10 pound sunline fluorocarbon. So I'm just tying a uni to uni. I've got eight or five pound power pro as my braid. I'll hook it back up to the eighth ounce jig. I hate that that fish. I really hope he got he flipped the bait out of his mouth before that happened. But I mean, how am I to help that? You know. So it is what it is at this point. I'll just make this into a uh, polymer. I'll just do a little polymer knot on that jig head and put that back on there. It's not the best looking thing in the world, but there it is. Roll it right on bottom, just like I was. Oh, I think I had one bite right there. Wow. All right, and he's on. Crappie. Yeah, buddy. They're biting again. They're biting again. I feel bad that one crappie in there, that gill plate got nicked. Poor dude. I don't like hurting fish. I don't like hurting anything. Yep. There they are. Now there's a white. Oh yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna have to trim up that uni knot from the sounds of it. Nice. Better white. Better white. Come here. Wow. Dude is uh putting up a fight, son. Mm. 
Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. You can't beat that. I mean, the only other thing that outdoes this is when the hybrids are biting like this. You know? All I'm doing right now is firing, ugh, firing it out right there. Reeling it back on bottom. Really slowly. And I'm, I'm feeling them hit it. And I'm letting them take it for a second before I set the hook on it. That's a good looking push. Let's sink down in there. Yeah, pick that one up right in front of me. Little crappie. They are everywhere. Fish are everywhere in here. They're uh, they're biting really good. Okay, till I get there, huh? <laughs> no, nah, we'll we'll get it. I love you. Yeah, I'm on my baby. Love you. Nah. I want her to catch one. There's a white. Oh man, that's a sizable fish there. Running, running right up current. Running right up on me. Yeah. <laughs> the fish doesn't feel as big as it when it was fighting. What on earth? Tell you what, though, I don't care. <laughs> Man, what a fun fish to catch! So many of them out there. Mm -hmm. I mean, I made three casts, caught three fish there. Caught, uh, I'd say, probably since you've been gone, about eight whites, a bunch of crappie. You got so. Well, it's they're all on bottom, so let's catch a let's catch a fish and go home, baby. There it is. Had them on, didn't even know it. I stopped to swat a bug and had a fish on. You hate me right now, don't you? Huh? You. <laughs> Fishing friends. Try to catch a few more for you. That was really awkward. Had to fish that super slow. Hey. All right. There you go. Hold the rod between your legs. There you go. Good job, baby. Hey. You caught one. <laughs> well, good job, baby. I'm gonna try to catch one more and then we'll go to the house. Yeah. I'm on, baby. Alright, probably after this cast I'm gonna go. Oh! <laughs> nice! What is this? What is this? Are you kidding me? The biggest white bass of the night. As soon as I said, all right, after this cast, I'm gonna go.
<laughs> He's so fat. He's so fat. Oh man. Once you look how fat he is. Look at that. I bet you that's a female full of eggs. Huh? See? There it is. White bass, Orama. All right, y'all. My GoPro's covered in slime from my fingers, and I've got bass thumb. But successful day of fishing, both on the kayak this morning for largemouth bass and musky, and tonight for crappie and white bass. Gina came out here and caught a crappie. She's having some technical difficulties. But I've got to hurry up and get home because I and a few of my other friends are getting on to the um, Evolving Angler podcast here in about uh, an hour. So if you all listen to podcasts, make sure you tune in to the Evolving Angler podcast. Uh, Nicholas Stepp, a good friend of mine, uh, runs that podcast. He's actually the guy that made the muskie bait that I caught my 50-inch muskie on years ago. So, but I'm going to get out of here. Make sure on your way out that you hit the subscribe button. It takes one second and it helps me out more than you know. And if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Check out my other material. Uh, stay tuned. Take care.